I, I saw the TL versus FlyQuest game. I want to see C9 versus who? Who did they play against? Dignitas? That right there, if you're at the light. Only about a 10% presence globally. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That was how, Chad, how did my boy Tanatos do? But I think he didn't realize that his team... The extended fight was Cloud9 continually trying to make the best out of a bad situation. And Not that good. Worse. Baron goes over to the window for C9 to try and come back. Wait, Sven is just Astro smurfing or what? Wait, why is Blabber playing Nidalee? He's on top 5 LCK or LPL. Like, I've, I've said this rule many times now. Wait, did Dig win game one? Team fight win that's on Vulcan, but Blabber is gonna get caught out. The flash means the cease and desist inside the show. Holy Jensen. No way for that cat to get out, Jojo. The Dignitas are not done with this fight. Yeah, the Cassante looks useless. But Thanatos is traded by Dignitas. Now four on four. Berserker is half HP. Rest of Dignitas want this fight. They know that Blabber has no flash. The flash cease and desist from Spika. Bro, this draft, man. Who? Why are you playing Nidalee? Let me guess. C9 stopped playing Nidalee and then won both games. This is for the game. Thanatos does not get hit, but Vulcan does. The death charge hits multiple members. The chain of corruption spreading the root. Jojo flashes the arrow, but it's still too low to God, participate. I'm sick of seeing Nidalee. I'm sick of it. Okay, this game's over. Nifrish lives. Okay, Jojo is there for the no, he doesn't. The the final tick. First, you like, guessed it. Net. Wow, look at C9's draft. They're, they're playing Sejuani. Hmm, I wonder if they win this game instead of playing Nidalee. How was Thanatos Camille? Unless you're actually bringing Jojo on that timer. So Licorice, good game sense, avoiding that gank. Actually makes a roam here and oh. Jojo. Jojo flashing the fear. We just watch the highlights, Chad. We just watch the highlights. Could have been lights out for him. Yeah, it looks like Flabber is going to be able to get... The void grubs, nonetheless. Does anyone have Thanatos' OPGG? But he's got no backup. I mean, Blabber should be able to get this once the W comes off cooldown and the smite. If he needs it, secures all three grubs. Yeah. Spika is level I wonder six, how he's doing in Zolo queue. Assist available. No flash on Jojo. He should be the next target. Cease and desist follows up. And that was an easy kill. No Maybe way, way too easy. Out. Way too easy kill. The first kill of the game. Got the still looking for this. It's actually Jojo's funny that Berserker's playing against Sven as AD carry. I don't know why I find that kind of funny. Before he has a chance to react, maybe it's the good play. Battle dancing over, Jojo Cone follows up, and the cleanse immediately used. But Sven cannot flash in time as he already used it to Yo, try to gain distance, but he still goes down. Both of Chat, it's one game. Gone. Chat, it's it's Vulcan one game from Thanatos. Uh, one series rather. Chill out. The, let him cook a bit. He's probably nervous. Oh damn! That way did no damage, and he's missing a lot of skill shots. Ooh, Jensen kind of smurfing that fight. Flowers can attest that that is just like, oh man, all right. Well, three abilities on Q, three abilities on W, three abilities on E, and then ultimate plus passive. Maybe Jensen is that guy. What's your favorite LEC best of three this split? What do you mean? What, 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 what do you mean best of three? already the community is talking, and they're saying... We cannot be sleeping on Jensen anymore, guys. You just can't. I mean, he had a really good split on FlyQuest. He yeah. wasn't good on Annie. Like, that's... <laughs> that, that's... Well, you cast a curse also, and now he's dead. fresh start for him uh -oh. on Dignitas here. Oh. As the caster curse commences. This is not just the caster curse. There was no scuttle crap. Or there was no Rift Herald up. And they created two plays around bot lane here. One got Yo, these highlights the videos are hella, hella good. Jensen and the second there actually ended and up big gold lead mid. But if they can set up the map into positions where they can actually get things happening without like needing a what are they doing? to be there, yeah. it's a really uh, good sign. They're so good in lane and they're such talented players. Seismic shove off of Vulcan's wall slam. Spika might be in trouble. Nice they interrupt by Vulcan. Interrupting his vault breaker. One more threat of volley would do the trick. But Berserker cannot get in range. The T W tags him. He pops the ulti. A couple more attacks. There it is. Spiral oh, well played. Him from Vulcan played really well this series. Jensen and Isles trying to well, well Berserker just got the one tap. Catcha. I think yep. the, the other thing that caught Berserker by surprise is after the triple kill, Jensen got 
Chat, are we liking the best of three format in LCS? Best of three is so nice, actually. Holy fuck. Or had a full Archangel staff. It's still not a Seraph quite yet, but just having that extra AP at this Best of three is so nice. Honestly. Honestly. Nobody on Cloud9 gets punished as yeah. they just take the clean kill. Huge play. Look where Thanatos is. He's Chad, been pushing tell me who gets Pog in the Hammer Life DRX series if it's not the light of the fly to Korea. The fact that Dig sat 5v4, didn't get it to cap, actually had a negative play happen is a disaster, but Vulcan gives one right back. <laughs> Long range engages from Cloud9, also his flash, and now Blabber, despite being a tank, his first it was Zeka. It was everyone. not Zeka. You're lying. You're lying. It was not Zeka, cut. Is just fighting provision and C9 is right back to trying to pressure side lanes. But Blaber definitely had one of his worst splits in a while, not making. I don't know if he made any. He definitely didn't make first or second team all pro. Yeah. Further down that ranking than I've seen him for years. Game one here, one and seven on Italy. Game two here on Sukhwani, wanting to get the win. And here comes Pika. Decent assist, right on JoJo. He flashes away in time. Isles is in trouble. Dan Chat. away, but Spika doesn't ah. have. Okay, I can't make that conclusion yet. Okay, Thanatos is trolling. I've only seen two games of highlights. Doesn't seem like it's going to happen. No, what they want to do. But Cloud9 will try to brute force for this next wave. But They're early crashing and catching it high. The Weaver's Wall is going to cut off Dignitas. They don't necessarily need to escape. It's the C9 super team of frauds. Just away from the wave so that they can get this tier 2 and at least I think it might be. Dragon. So they're getting more gold. Here's the fight. Thanatos on the Licorice but not committing the ultimate quite yet. Dignitas are able to brute force their way through. Isles now looking for the counter engage with the quickness. But forced to jump away. Thanatos commits on the Licorice. He's already using the flash that takes him out. With the stack at full HP. Vulcan, nice keepers, Vernick, punt Spico away. They know. That yeah, I don't think this team will do no. much damage at Worlds. Their way through the mid lane, not respecting Maybe the I'm wrong. That Cloud9 had. Licorice still no flash. Thanatos' OPG is Korea, God of Death. Very tanky, can tank a lot God of that damage, of dropping to only two-thirds of his HP. Thanatos pushing in the mid-wave. Rest of Cloud9 trying to lay the siege down. Through I can't find it. Oh, it's on NA. Bro. His OPG is kind of crazy. Wait, he's in a solo queue game. What do you mean he's in a time in LA? 1 a.m., 1.30 a.m. He's in game. 70% win rate, playing TF Vein top every game. <laughs> That's disgusting. Now we're even counter pushing the mid lane with a numbers advantage. First one away, Pooh. Wait, what landed? Damage on that was JoJo. a nice route. On Man, JoJo got away with murder. Okay, died. Oh Holy fuck, despair. Dignitas. It's all disaster for Cloud9. And Dignitas have the push. They commit the flash over the wall and fight Blabber as well. Is Dignitas like the boomer team? The pain and Dignitas. The second pick here where C9 is just trying to get back under their turret. But the front of Pathway quits for you today. Oh, Thanatos oh, caught. Uh, no Holy fuck, that Varus damage. C9 was 5k up with Baron. Now they're 1k up with four players and facing Soul. Spica prison run atop of Spica. Spica's trolling. To counter engage the Weaver's Wall. Cut Spica off from the support of Dignitas. And he links from Thanatos. He's actually just going to teleport to the menu. The mid Doran instead. got Pog. That's a, a that is absolutely a horror. Pog. Yeah, and Dick has so much range. They can't full commit, but if they can poke them out ah! and get kills. Vulcan goes down, but it's a trade of supports. Cloud9 still having Thanatos, so it's a four on three for now. Spika just respawned and is running from the base. Why didn't but I, I guess it's hard to get going. in here in time? Maybe if Dignitas can find a they lucky have to give, snipe, they? maybe Sven can channel his Uno Gumuyushi, but he's already fired the arrow and the secure is there for yep. Bro, Vulcan Dignitas don't look too bad. Right or C9 look fraudulent. I can't tell yet. Sven, so it's only two games. So many fights, just a lot of mechanical misplays. Map movement don't exist. In position for it if Cloud9 can close out this game as Vulcan slams But I swear the average kills per game in the FlyQuest TL series was crazy high. This series as well, already 26. 
the toss. The best that they can do is go for the mid wave. And even Joe just trying to brute force this turret down. How many Koreans in LEC versus LCS? Spend, I don't know, but it doesn't really matter because there's only eight teams in the LCS and there's ten in the LEC, so it's already swayed. Berserker poking over the wall with the W. Being a toss, trying to find posture in this river. Licorice is the first target. Oh, it's Isles, it's Isles! Isles, man, what's he doing? A target on him. Pick him for Baron, pick him for Drake. Both teams now on Soul Point, but the gold lead is in for Dig. They get the Scryer's Boom, you know it's around, but there's just too much to come out of the pit. Nice Weaver's Wall will keep Spika at bay. And yeah, Dignitas have Chat, by the way, it's Shox's birthday. So make sure you say happy birthday to her if he tweets or something. Is making short work of this inhibitor. And he's got he Baron empowered end. minions. He can look to end. He's actually teleporting to make sure that he can get out alive. And the rest of Cloud9. Oh, Thanatos going into the mid lane. Gets locked down by Spika. Can they have enough damage to burst him out? Thanatos Bro, the amount of health bars I've seen on C9 just get away. It's crazy. Do not get the pick on Thanatos. Even the Guardian Angel would have kept him alive. 40 minute game. Is it just me or is game time is getting longer? More more I'm seeing a lot of 40 minute games recently. Wished, Rafa, we're gonna go a full I feel like game times have gotten a lot longer somehow. I don't know why. LCS what is it? What could it be? Bonus League of Legends coming at you if Cloud9 can close this one out. Here's the Weaver's Wall. Then still has Flash and Cleanse, and he's got the Spell Shield from Edge of Night, so he's safe for now. Licorice tries to take up as much damage as he can, but he gets flipped by the Seismic Shove. He is taken out. The Berserker is going to flash forward. Tries to get some damage down. Does not pop the ultimate quite yet. It's up four minutes on average, really. Sees through all three lanes as Isles is going to pop the quickness. Jojo flashing forward and getting Holy Thanatos. They just killed both their carries. Cloud9 will not take this series away. Dignitas are going to have to fight back because Cloud9 are bringing it to game three. That is what? low committal engaged with the Chain wow. of Corruptions and the Glacial Prison. Renekton, Maokai, Talia. Oof, that Jax pick. That Jack's pick is rough. And it's more of a defensive option with yes. the Braum because the Glacial Fissure is... Reset is actually moving out topside. So, okay. And I'll Take your phone away. Oh, sorry. In order to help Licorice survive a potential oh, no. dive. He, he's, he's in trouble. Okay. And Blabber's here first. Spika is not going to get there in time. Licorice trying to leap strike. I really like this swap. No gets out alive. I feel like Blabber team should learn from this and do it. Spika will take it as long as oh, he God. Spika's going to die too now, maybe. Okay. Like this level four, level five bot lane run top on grub spawn, gank top, get grubs, hit top platings and trade for bot because you have grubs advantage. And then do it again for the second grubs. Yeah. Such a good strat, I think. Okay, Thanatos, you're fucking running it, my boy. You're supposed to be... You're supposed to be the chosen one. Thanatos is supposed to be the chosen one. He is that guy, I promise. Just give him time. But how cool would that be, chat, if we get Thanatos saves in a world final one day? The God of Thunder versus the God of Death. Uh, that now that is anime worthy. You could make a mega anime out of that from their names. Live and learn as Thanatos is getting game He has flash and he pops the Dominus, but I don't know if it's gonna bail him out. Who's the god of death? Isn't Thanatos like the Greek god of death or some shit? Should be able to felt turret. Yeah, Varus ultimate misses means C9 can stay fairly aggressive. They don't get all of it, but I think with yeah. no Varus ultimate, God of Death in brackets, gray screen. <laughs> they got double TPs. I believe it's coming in from Jensen and Jojo Pion. Spika trying to answer back. Decent combo, seismic shove on the Spika. The twisted oh, advance will lock Spika down, on, and he's just an overcommitted once again. Cloud 9. But they can't get vision to make it a safe suicide. Yeah. 
And I think no spite on Dick. He could have just stolen it. Bro, I swear, Korean pro players come up with the best the names. They just do. So many Korean pro player names are so good. Zeus, Thanatos. Was it worth it? Faker. I'm not sure for Cloud9. I don't know why Actually, Chovy I, I just sounds wrong. mega cool. The there was a player the called Blossom. Mega cool. The Shy. The Shy. Like, it's fucking crazy, you know? The Viper. Deft. These people just sound epic. Some EU players had some really good names, though. Like, Action Caps is a good name. I also think you can say what you want. I think Perks is a really good, cool name. I think Perks is like it's like a really good name for a caster, you know? Like Perks, like it, it like it hits. Jensen wants something to happen. Mika, we know this guy can steal barons, but he can't get into the pit. Twelve hundred HP. Secured by Blabber. Fishing for the Glacial Prisons. A flash from Blabber trying to get the Yeah, this game's done. They tried to contest Nash. Oh, what? Bro, Jensen smurfing the series on Grump. His Talia looked good. His Hui looked good. Maybe the vegan wasn't him after all. Oh, that was a mega Leonold. That was a mega Leonold. This series has been a banger, man. That Vulcan engage was so good. He absolutely... There's no further lockdown for the rest of Cloud9, but that is a summoner spell down for the top laner Dignitas as they have to now try and defend the rest of their base from crumbling. I didn't Cloud see Nine. game three of TL FlyQuest because I went to bed. Was it a banger? Team fighting team comp, but if they can't push any Was game three lanes, good? They need to walk blind into every situation. Huh, bad, pick up Jojo! The Sarah Shield no. with a seismic shove does buy time. Nature's grasp is coming in over the wall from... Appa carried? Bro, Appa was carrying game one as well, no? Oh my god, C9 are throwing again. They're throwing again. Bro, C9 gets leads and they are the CEOs of throwing or what? Oh, stole Baron. Sven can he steal it from his own team? What the fuck? I can make short work of this tier one. Dignitas being able to clean out. Bro, Dignitas have a good game state. They just need this Drake. They, they have way better from this AD AD Kaisa is mega fed. Oh, the Leona's trolling a bit. Berserker is kind of trolling, but he lived. If Jensen was there earlier. C9 hold off. Six. He's had great back-to-back -back games on Zeri Kaisa. When we started this series, it was a dignitas. The Kaisa is so one. strong, holy and moly. Was able to hold up and show that he is not an AD carry you can sleep on anymore. And he's still been trying to do his best to play these fights. But Cloud9 have put a target on his back. Berserker has shown he is just as good. And now the rest of Cloud9. Why do I feel like every POV of the Cloud9 being ahead is enemy team being behind but pressuring their base and then C9 responding with a fight to regain map control? Which is like a normal game state sometimes, but why does it feel like a consistent factor? It never feels like C9 in this series at least was pressuring into forcing them back. It was they were being pressured into taking a fight and punishing them. And that happened a bit too often, you know? Sometimes that's normal, but it's, I, I swear I've seen that like four times now. Oh, if he got the shockwave off there, he would have done mega damage. Yeah. Okay, so C9 looking kind of shaky. But it, th these teams play one best of three a week, right? They kill him if they get him. This is a bit tricky to execute. There's no flash from Licorice, so as long as Jojo Pion can find the size of the shove, which he does, One best of three a week. Nice. Now, it's kind of chill, no? In range quite yet, but Licorice finds the blast cone, pops out to the left side. Mega chill. To TP away. Can Dendentox rush the Baron? Can they, how much time can Licorice buy? Baron's about to spawn in one second. 
Flabber's in the area. A lot, apparently. Can he get the turret? No. The, there is, the thing is, there's a teleport on Thanatos to match, so I don't think they want to start Baron. This is just overall no way. Wait, licorice. Oh, <laughs> That looked a lot closer than a knee doors. When you Again, down, this game is 35 minutes in. I think that is your last shot. It's a bit of a Hail Mary for Dick in this game for making so many plays happen. Now with the Baron buff, they're going for yet more picks. Jensen, still no flash available. And Blaver is able to close the distance alongside Berserker. No Orianna, no Shockwave available anymore to stop these minion waves from crashing into the Nexus Towers. Another pick, definitely... C9 turning it on here. Jax is TP flanking. Those are my favorites when they're they're ending the game and someone's flanking them. <laughs> Did he just say ball steep? Oh god. You can't be saying that on Cast, bro. If C9 Balls was playing, it would probably be a good one. But without Balls in it, that don't hit. Alright, 